of course, not all scientists fall short, but do all or even most scientists live up to Richard Dawkins' ideal? Well, if they did, there would be no such thing as the reproducibility crisis. You ever heard of the four horsemen of the reproducibility crisis? Oxford professor Richard Dawkins should have known about it. If not, he could have asked fellow Oxford professor Dorothy Bishop about it. If he did, she could tell him about the problematic research practices that scientists use to patch up faulty theories that are not borne out by their experiments. Practices like p-hacking, or low statistical power, or harking, which is hypothesizing after the results are known, and publication bias. I'll link Professor Bishop's talk in the description. Worse yet, I wish that was the only problematic research practice that scientists use to patch up their faulty theories.